Hi guys, in this video, we will see how we can implement license plate detection and recognition using YOLO V8. So for the implementation, I will be using Google Colab Notebook. So let's start the implementation. So if you follow the steps uh, provided in this video tutorial, at the end of the video, you will be able to get this like demo like this or output like this. So this is the GitHub repository, which I will be using in this project. So the steps to run the code are given here. The, all the steps are provided one by one. And this is the output results, which I have added over here. So first of all, you just need to go here and just clone this GitHub repo. Okay, so this is the Colab notebook file, uh, which I'm, uh, which in which all the implementation is provided step by step. So this notebook file will only be available to our Patreon supporters. So, so if you're not a Patreon supporter, so if you become a Patreon supporter, you will have access to all the exclusive projects which I've shared here. We usually share different projects we have shared, like we have shared fire detection using YOLO V8 here, real-time segmentation and tracking using YOLO V8, in YOLO V7 instant segmentation with distance estimation, and road sign and traffic light detection and color recognition. So if you become a Patreon supporter, by just contributing $5 a month, we'll have access to all these exclusive projects. Plus, we also provide support in the case if you are facing any issue to run the code on your side, or if you have any questions regarding the code, we also help you. So we just need to go here and just paste the, the repo which we have cloned over here. So first of all, I have already run this script. So let me disconnect and delete this runtime and start with a new runtime just connecting it and just i will go to the runtime and select the runtime as gpu so okay so now i will run this cell and now i will clone this github wrap over here so you can see that now we have the wrap over here now just setting the current directory as this repo now we'll all install all the dependencies. Basically, if you install, uh, don't install the dependencies, we don't have the all the required libraries installed. So if you install all the dependencies uh, using pip install minus edev, we have all the required libraries installed. So we don't face an issue like matplotlib is not installed, numpy is not installed, or hydra library is not installed. So by installing, the, by writing pip install minus e, we get install all the required dependencies and we have all the required libraries. So if we check this file as well, so you can see that this is the file we have. So, so as we are performing object detection over here, basically like we are detecting the lessons plate and then reading the text uh, in the lessons plate. So let me show you. So we will go to the direction folder and just go over here and copy the path and just write it over here. So now we will uh, download the data set from RoboFlow. So here I've just uh, added the link. You can just go over here and just, you can just go to RoboFlow and download this data set from the RoboFlow. I will add the data set link in the description of the video. So the data set will be download is downloading. So it might take one to two minutes to download. So let's wait till then until it downloads completely. So the data set is downloaded. Now we need to train our custom model for lessons play detection. So let's train the model. So now our uh, training is done. So these are all the files which we have in the training folder, you can see. And this is the confusion matrix which I have. And so let's first look at the confusion matrix and see what does the confusion matrix tells us. So confusion matrix is a chart that shows us how our model handle different classes. But here we have a single class. So let's see the results. So for 84% of the times, our model successfully detects that there is a uh, lessons plate, while 16% of the times, our model fails to detect anything. Like there is a model does not detect anything. So 84% of the times, our model successfully detects that there is a lessons plate, 
while 16% of the times our model fails to detect anything, like there's a simple background, nothing is detected. And there are the training losses and validation losses. So here, uh, the most important losses we are concerned is box loss and CLS loss. So you can see that loss is decreasing as the number of epochs increasing and the mean average precision or recall score is increasing by the number as the epochs increase. So if you uh, currently we have trained our model on uh, 120 epochs. So if you train the model on 200, 250 epochs, definitely you will get some better results. So these are the results on the validation batch. Uh, so these are the basically, these are the images or the results of model prediction on the validation batch. So these mod, uh, images are not used for training. So it is always better to take a look and see how our models performs on the validation batch. Okay, so I've saved the model weights on the Google Drive. So I'm just downloading the weights from the Google Drive. So it's better to save your weights on the drive. And now I will validate the custom model. So here I've validated the custom model and for I'm getting a good mean average precision of 0 .0 0 0.926 with IOU of 50. So if my IOU moves from 50 to 95, I get a mean average precision of 0 0.582. So basically, uh, after detecting the lessons plates, now to read the text uh, on uh, so basically, let me show you. Uh, let me leave first lessons. Play. Let me show you the simple implementation. The, so here we are just downloading a demo video for testing our model from the Google Drive and let's run it. So currently, we are only detect, interested in detecting the lessons plate. After this, we will uh, update the predict.py file to read the text of the lessons plate, like read the lessons plate number. My end aim is to read the lessons plate number. So let's move it towards it. So it might take a few minutes. So let's just wait till then. And as it completes, then we will move ahead. Sure. Okay, just copy this over here. And here write demo dot mp4 and just run this. So we are just testing on a single demo video, so just skip this. And just... So it might take a few minutes so until the demo video appears. So in this video, we are only detecting the license plate. We are not reading the license plate number, uh, which will move it uh, this implement in the next step. So let's see what output do we get over here. So it might take few minutes. So let's wait until then we get results. Okay, so we have get. So here are our results. So you can see that we are detecting the lessons plate. So, but we need to read the text of the license plate. Like I need to read the license plate number. To read that license plate number, I will make few adjustments into my code. So I will open the predict.py file. So uh, using easy OCR, I will be reading the license plate number. So first of all, here just write import cv2 import easy OCR. Now, just write reader is equal to easy OCR dot reader. Now we'll create an image. Basically, uh, EN means we are reading the English and GPU means we have GPU enabled in our system. So we write define OCR image. Image coordinates. 
So we write x, y, w. And coordinates zero. Coordinates one, just copy this. And just this. So here we are just uh, basically uh, cropping the image or, and we are just focusing on the part where we have the license plate detected. Y corner edge. So, so we are cropping the image and where we have the license plate detected, we are just focusing on that part and then uh, we will read the text of the license plate. So now we'll convert the license plate into grayscale because we have cropped the image and uh, we have only, uh, now we have only the image where we have the license plate. So now we are converting uh, the license plate into a grayscale image from RGB. Now I will now write, now we need to, after converting into grayscale, now we need to read the text. Uh, so we will write result is equal to, so using ECOCR, now we will read the text from the number plate. So I have initialized in ECOCR over here. So I write reader dot read text. And we need to read the text from the grayscale image of the number license plate. So we are, I've written gray over here and let's read the text over here and for result result if length result is equal to okay I'm just gonna stay if length result is equal to one text is equal to this one then so is greater than one and length was so the one is greater than six so that's good so we have uh, written let's just see if we have made any mistake so we have some confidence everything over here so let's just go below and write the amount of the thing we to do once so if we have don't have anything over here so okay so now we'll go below and just update one thing in the code which is over here I am zero, x, y, x, y. Paper is equal to text OCR. So let's run this script and see what results we get. If you have any error, we will definitely fix it, but I believe that it is correct.
Oh, no miss. I think it's not weighted yet. So now just run the script and see what output we get. So, okay, pip install, we have not installed OCR. So just install easy OCR first and then rerun the script. Okay, import cv2 dot cv2. Okay, I can make a spelling mistake. Let me correct it first, and then I will move ahead. So I think what I have made is one mistake. My parents. Let me see what mistake I have made over here. Is there? This should be capital. Okay. Let me see other if there is okay plus. There should be RGP to gray. Two errors we have found. Just fix them. So now let's check it again. Hope it will now be fixed. Now let's run the script again. One last time. Hopefully it will work fine now. So running the script again. So yes, no, it might take a few more minutes to run. So let's wait until it runs. So the script has run successfully. Now let's show this demo video over here. And just clear this change. And now run this. So let's see what results do we get over here. So here is our output video and you can see that we are getting very impressive results and our model is able to detect the license plate as well as read the text using easy OCR in the license plate as well. So it's working very fine. I will be sharing. So the license plate detection script will be provided. Uh, as you know that this GitHub repo, I will share the link of the GitHub repo in the description of the video. But to get the license plate recognition, like reading text from the license plate, so this file will be only provided to our Patreon support. So if you want to get the file, you can be our Patreon supporter or not, then you can just review this video and just learn what made it, what changes I made in the predict.py file so you can get the same output like this. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.